probably if government can just make the environment uh, more favorable, uh, yeah, I, don't, I don't see anything bad in it for you to engage in farming. Because uh, as you all see, oil and all these blue collar jobs, white collar jobs, doesn't really, no, not sustainable like before. So if government cannot make the environment favorable, I think it is nice, it's okay. It's just that federal government is not being sincere with whatever policy they come out with. If federal government see the need to give out such amount of money to any youth who intend to do that, then everybody will be happy to do that. But just that we pay lip service to all this. If government is sincere on their home part and give out the necessary money for the youth to go into farming, everybody will be willing to do that. But in the situation that you are seeking for job, this, the job is not forthcoming, and you even don't have the words, you don't have the resources to go into any business of your choice, then you embrace whatever comes your way. Government should be sincere. Government should come out and provide job for people who are roaming the streets, doing nothing. Uh, yes, we have not seen the best of Boko Haram. I, I bet it, more is still coming. Uh, if the federal government could support me, uh Mechanically, you understand, because uh, farming in a subsistence uh, area without uh, mechanization, it will limit the product of the farming. So that is the only problem we are having in the rural areas. There is no mechanization of farming. We only use our hoes, our cutlass, and uh, it's too much of labor. In a place where you can make 10 ridges in a day, with your labor you cannot make more than 3. With um, adequate um, encouragement from the government in terms of financing and all, I think um, it's something worth doing. And for me as an individual, I think it's something I would want to, you know, look into and give consideration to with the right um, provisions and all of that. You know, I think it's worth um, considering. If given encouragement by the government, Youth should really embrace that opportunity and create employment for themselves. And at the same time, contribute to the development of the society instead of, instead of being idle. You know, then uh, I understand there's one that Lagos government is even doing at Tekpe, where they have uh, they accommodate some people for six months. And after the training, some will be specialized in fisheries, some in horticulture some in poultry and of course they will, they will empower them. It, that needs to be encouraged. Nowadays I think agriculture it's, uh, it's, uh, is a good thing for we youth. Okay, in as much as uh, there's no really much job around, so we could say uh, going into farming would be a very good thing to do for nowadays, I mean, you understand? So um, yeah, farming is good. It's a good, it's a good opportunity for we youth to do. So the only thing is that the uh, federal government should like, I don't know how to say this, maybe like put more effort or something in agriculture as a whole. I would say yes, and it's good so that uh, all the youths will not have the sense that, okay, it's only office job can bring income for them. If you want to look back, what our forefathers are doing, they're into farming. And being in, going into farming is not only into uh, I want to go and weed, I want to go and do things, but a lot of things in farming, like poultry, everything. So it's good. It's a good thing. If well properly financed, you know, because this, some, these days I encourage the fact that the federal government are supporting agriculture through. Um, so many projects they are bringing up by fertilizer and all that. So if they can support, why not? Sure, I can go into farming because it's a good venture now so that there will be enough food in circulation, there won't be famine and all, all what not. And, and you know that when much people, especially with the youth that go about looking for white collar job, when we have the interest of farming at heart, you see that the, the, the price of food stock and commodity will be, will be cheaper in the market and it will be affordable even for the poor and the less privileged.